So hello, good day to you all, another beautiful day today and today I'm going to be showing you how we are going to be planting our potatoes. potatoes we're going to be planting are our first dailies and we're going to be planting them in these grow bags now the mix that I'm using I'm using um, multi-purpose compost cocoa core uh, fiber uh, topsoil and then I'm using um, chicken manure pellets potato fertilizer and perlite and as you can see I've got equal amounts measured out these are the um, blocks of the cocoa um, that haven't been made up yet basically it's one block of cocoa coir to uh, four litres of water so what I'm going to do now is uh, measure out my ingredients so I'll start with equal amounts first the uh, multi-purpose compost goes in there and then the uh, koi core coconut fibers and then some sieved topsoil now this is really um, an experiment it's my first time doing it this way but um, I'm adding the cocoa coir fibre uh, to retain moisture the um, sieve topsoil to help it all bulk together and then we've got here the chicken manure pellets so in with those the potato fertiliser it actually looks and smells exactly the same so it wouldn't surprise me if the potato fertiliser is purely just more chicken manure pellets and then lastly the perlite what I then do is mix all these ingredients together give them a good old mix up making sure that the perlite is mixed all the way through along with the chicken manure granules and the topsoil that's a, a good mix up there so next I uh, take my potato planter and I literally fill it up with half of this mixture halfway leaving half in here so that's roughly half the mixture has gone in here and then what I'm doing is I'm selecting three seed potatoes I'm using one large and putting it sort of to one side and then sort of one medium into the bottom right and then a fairly small one in the bottom left so doing them sort of 12 o'clock uh, 3 o'clock and then 9 o'clock positions and then the remainder of this mix I then scoop onto the top of the um, sea potatoes so that's the remainder of the mix gone into the um, bag there and like good old blue peter passion here's another one that i made earlier now they obviously they do need watering but i'm actually making all these up at home so what i should do is once i've got all of them potted up and loaded in the car once i get to the allotment i should give them a good water and i should sow that 
a bit later on. Now this container here is what I use to mix up the um, coca coil and again that's one block to four litres of water. I do use a watering can. This really is just to show how much water goes to one of these blocks and then that gives us 10 litres of um, coco koi compost. So making the coco koi, here's the block that goes in there. Now I'm going to add the 4 litres of water. And now I'll leave that for five minutes just to um, suck up as much of the water as I can before I then break it apart and mix all the water together. So I'll just give that a bit of a soaking. So it's been about five minutes and as you can see the uh, cocoa coir block has expanded quite a lot and it's uh, soaked up that moisture. So now I do just give it a break up and just let that moisture completely go all the way through and I'll leave that now for half an hour now just to dry out a little bit and so it breaks down into a consistency which sort of looks like this. What I'm going to do now is leave you with um, some capture cam footage of me um, making the rest of the planters. Hope you enjoy the day and I'll see you in the next video.
hope you enjoyed that video and if you do like our content please do subscribe hit the like button you can also contact us through our social media sites that's um, twitter at glac jones instagram db underscore allotment underscore vlogs and on facebook if you do a search for my big allotment project you'll find all our details there you can also check out our website www.allotmentguide.com thanks very much guys see you in the next video